Hello, Lola's. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> what it do up in this place? Nah, say it louder. What it do up in this place? <laughs> Okay, okay, for all right, y'all so loud. Why y'all so loud? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so as you can see, I got baby Greta here. I hate calling him Greta because he is a boy. <laughs> but young Greta might be a girl. I thought I would come and share him, put together our Karoot. He got on his little shout set. Uh, pretty poop. Pretty, 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 pretty. I thought I heard that on TikTok somewhere. But anyway, nevertheless, okay, let me be serious for a minute. Oh, gosh, this is why people don't want me to do their prototypes. I guess I'm so good out. No, I'm just play. <laughs> okay. Oh, I feel good this morning, okay? Forgive me for having such high energy. Okay, so listen. All right, so let's start over. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell so that you can be notified. Make sure you click all on the bell so you can be notified on the, com the community tab. If you don't know what the community tab is, go check it out. Um, and uploads, video uploads, and live streams. All right, today I have Greta. Greta is a partial silicone kit. He is sculpted by Francesca Figa and also being poured and sold by Silicone Studio. You can contact Kathy Romero Biscotti to order your own partial kit. The kit is priced at a marvelous price. The blank is only $595 last I checked. So, that's a blank kit. That is not this baby. <laughs> this baby fully completed will cost you about $3,600 for those that might be curious if he's fully painted and rooted. He is the prototype. Oh, wait a minute. So someone did choose me. <laughs> They chose me, little Miss Me. Um, and so he is 21 inches, 21, 22 inches. I think mine is more like on a on a 22 inch body. That's probably why he's a little bit bigger. But you know, the body always makes a difference. Um, let me see if I can take you guys off so you guys can see that's. Um, all right, um, as you guys know, as always, I'm still in the process of rooting. I decided to finish rooting Gigi so that she can get sold. But anyway, this video is not about her. It's about him. So, um, this baby will have, as you can see, his hair will have some curls in it. Let me see. Oh, am I losing light? I got the... Oh the light up so that I get closer get a little closer to him so yeah so he will have a little flips and, and dips in his uh, hair but um yeah so that is my little guy um the kit is sculpted with a you know a partially open mouth and so you probably could do a modified pacifier, but you could always deepen it to get a full pacifier like um, Kathy did this one for me because it was a prototype. And I was like, oh, I just got to have a full pacifier. So it does. He will have a full pacifier. Do you got a little bit of residual KY? You do. There we go. Um, so, yeah, and like I said, he's on a cloth cloth body body yep he's on his little cloth body and this kit because it's a partial he can easily be a a boy or a girl I could I could easily dress him up and make him look like a girl if I wanted to but I've just gotten so addicted to seeing boy till 
I think for me, even if I tried to dress mine as a girl, for me, I will always still see a boy because that's what I've decided in my head that that's what he is. So, anyway, I was trying to get him where you guys could see like his, his little whole leg. Okay, there you go. You kind of can see it a little bit. But, um, so yeah. So I just, you know, wanted to come on and show you guys him. And as you guys know, you know, I rarely paint partials. Um, I'm a little intimidated by them, if I be honest. Um, I am always afraid that I won't do good enough. Um, so I just kind of stay away from the partials, but um, I absolutely love partials. Me and one of my dolly sis been talking about this lately periodically, like, Partials are like the best because it's like you're getting the, the best of both worlds. He is so cuddly. Like when I pick him up, I'm just like, oh my gosh, he's just so cute and, you know, cuddly. And like, you don't have to worry about the best part too about it is like for us that's real picky about body styles and all that. You don't have to worry about it because it's a cloth body. So you don't have to worry about if it's sculpted nicely or not. And you can do a lot more posing and stuff. So, um, I'm definitely all for the partials, just like I am with the cuddles. I, I, um, I was talking to, I'm always talking to my, my, uh, friends in the community about the dolls. And, um, uh, one of my friends, I did an experiment. She was like, not into the, um, the cuddles. And so I know I told this story before, but I actually, um, let her experience a cuddle and she's been hooked ever since um because I think you don't really get it until you actually get one um my last customer uh that bought uh what was it my other prototype what was was what was that one oh I can't remember the name oh my god I can't remember the name but um, I remember his name, the new name of his, his Lux. And his mommy was like, why is this baby so cuddly? Like, <laughs> she, she was actually, she couldn't believe that she liked it so much. So, um, partials and cuddles kind of go hand in hand a little bit for me. I really love the cuddle factor. If you're a person that like to hold your babies or like to pose your babies and take a lot of photos, there are a lot of fun for that. So either you don't even have to be one that hold them a lot but like to pose and they just kind of have a lot more, you know, posability. Um, so like I said, I still have, you know, some stuff to do with him, but yeah, his little legs. Oh my gosh. He got fat old chunk of chunk thighs and yeah. So, and it's, Good softness. You don't want them to be like mush soft as a partial because you want them to be able to do good with their on the cloth and stuff. So, yep, I am. Let me see. Let me sit you up a little bit. A little bit. And don't lose your hat. <laughs> but yeah, I always kind of like to get an idea of what the hair is going to do and what it's looking like before I keep going. And, um, so, yeah, he'll get rooted, though, next. I'm kind of <laughs> enjoying him so much. I'm like, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I bought this outfit specifically for him. Not the hat, but the outfit. So I said, might as well start putting him on and stuff before the season change. And he can't really wear them. Um... But I don't know. I might, I might could wear some. I'll do the long socks next. Uh, when it gets cooler, I'll put long socks on him, and that will warm the outfit up. If that makes sense. So yeah, um, I just sometimes it's hard for me to when I really like spend a lot of time with a baby if it's if it's something that I don't normally paint or um, I don't. Like, I don't normally paint this skin tone. I, to be honest, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know that I, that I 
that I could. Um, and so it just, you know, it's like, I don't know if I'll get it, do it again. So it's like, oh, should I keep this one? You know, because I try to have a wide variety of my work in my collection so that I can, you know, share. Let me see something. Let me, I got Nori here. And I'm going to put Nori next to him so we can see, see how their color is together. Nori, talking about Nori. Nori. So yeah, so as you can see, he's he's darker than Nori too. So he's a good color. I just wanted to share that. Oh, I love her, her brother. You love your brother. <laughs> That's my Nori. Oh, you covering up those cute little lips. I like to show his little lips. I was, and he looks cute with a pacifier too. Let me see if I can get her further down. Let's see. Does that work? Yep. <laughs> okay, and there you have it. All right, guys, I'm not gonna keep you long. I just wanted to show Greta. Um, again, you can go to Silicone Studio, the number two dot com, and you can order your own kit. Um, have your favorite painter paint it and there you have it or if you paint yourself you could paint it yourself so there's that um, and I just want to again thank um, the sculptor and thank um, most importantly silicone studio for trusting me to paint kits for them periodically because um, I really enjoy their silicone and I also enjoy that they make it affordable for us to collect um, high quality silicone at a affordable price. So again, thank you and I will see you guys later. Thank you everyone that follows me and don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment. And I am thinking of a name for him because yes, I want to keep him myself now. <laughs> I've been thinking Devin because oh, this video is about to go long. Okay, real quick. I kept wanting to call him Devin. For whatever reason, I dreamed about this doll. I don't know. But in, in a dream, I kept calling him Devin. And so um, I asked on Facebook names and somebody said, he kind of looks like a Devin. But then somebody recommended Bronx for him. And I was like, well, you know, I got all this places so New York Bronx in the Bronx I don't know but I don't know but anyway um somebody said Nigel somebody said Logan he does look like Tamar Spun Logan <laughs> girl what <laughs> what if he be a Logan okay so Logan or Devin I already had a Nigel so Logan or Devin what do y'all think I don't know y'all let me know in the comment section I'll see you guys later bye boo